Hello everybody, Eric back here and this video is about uh, permaculture techniques on a rocky hillside. Now this hillside has a, a pretty good drop to it. If you can see up the hill there. But there's a lot of challenges to this. Now this area here actually runs right underneath the shed there and right down through these terrace beds was an old wagon trail like a hundred years ago or more and it was washed out really bad and it had some um, you know some vegetation trying to grow back up in it of course but it didn't have any big trees because it had been used since then for uh, logging of cedar trees so it was washed out really bad and I knew I needed to control the erosion and preserve what soil was left. So where this old road came down, I built a terrace bed here. This is just out of logs. It was built up the front and uh, put in some dirt behind it, kind of built it up. Well, then the water was running through over here and coming down and running more. So I put in another terrace bed here to catch that water. I use cedar logs here also. Now, over here, this was another road that was used for logging also. It kind of was a circle that drive that went up the hill. And this is the other part of it. Now you can see what I mean by rocky hillside. There's a few rocks in here. I don't really have a shortage of rocks. But on in this terrace bed, I used rocks instead of logs to shore it up and then piled in um, good dirt behind it. Now I've got annuals mainly in these beds now, but I'm gonna work up to perennials. I've just not been sure what perennials to put in here. So this is a complex of terrace beds. We have one, two, and three. And in between them there's American Beautyberry that's helping control uh, the uh, hillside erosion and various other plants. Black raspberry, like I said, this is mostly annuals in here now, but this is going to be mainly a strawberry bed. Got a little start on that with some strawberries here. But anyway, the rocks go up this side, and I decided to catch the rest of the hill <laughs> dirt here with rocks. And uh, this is taro, trying taro this year. And up here, of course, this was an old road that went up, very washed out, and Every time it rains, it washes more. So I decided to build a, a mini swale here to capture the water and redirect the water that runs off the hill into the terrace bed over here. So now this, I've got three or four different techniques here and I, I'm not done yet. I'm, I'm absolutely sure I'm gonna have to build this up a little more. But just for the purpose of this video, you know, I've used rocks here, uh, cedar logs, which don't rot away very fast, to start catching the water, some sediment, and seeds, so, you know, stuff will start sprouting here to catch more water. Uh, leftover concrete blocks you can use. Now, this side, I, I would like to leave this open for a vehicle or something to get up here at some point, so I use dirt to round it on out. Now, when the water comes off this hill real fast. It's going to catch here, hopefully, and go over into the terrace bed. I've got some perennials here. There's a jean gooseberry, some okra planted next to the poor man gooseberries. This is a golden currant that it does not like the heat. It always goes dormant by midsummer. I've got a fig tree here on top of this start of this next terrace bed. I'm going to come over here, and uh, like I said, mostly annuals now. Got some basil in here. There's a Rondé de Bordeaux fig tree. 
So this is, I'm, I think, I'm thinking I'm going more for perennials in, in these terrace beds, probably figs, blackberries, things like that. Now this carpet up here, I won't just ignore that. <laughs> that is, uh, I'm not trying to carpet the side of the hill. This is part of a running battle with Bermuda grass that I'm hoping to win because that is really the only plant that, uh, that is not welcome in the permaculture system. But this is the larger swale that funnels into the terrace bed. This swale goes up here and there's a Rose of Sharon bush and uh, one side of that swale. And then uh, this swale is helping to hold water for all these cherry trees right here. These are all sour cherry trees. And that's a pear right there that benefits somewhat. Okay. Now, and this is a terrace bed. This is, still has a lot of potatoes in it. I uh, dug some earlier today. So this terrace bed is a little bigger, but I've got the end shored up with rocks here. And then that drops down into the big swale and then that drops down into the terrace. So this, it's just a system all the way up and down the side of this hill. And there's, there's more to it than this uh, in different places. We've got a lot of these terrace beds built and trying to channel water, catch water, stop erosion. Uh, got a fig tree planted on the uh, upper side of this terrace bed and there's a couple more fig trees over there. So hopefully, uh, gave an idea of some things you have to do on the side of a hill to uh, stop erosion, catch water, actually grow food, and let uh, nature um, have control over most of it. You know, this is this terrace bed is surrounded by nature. There's frost weed, there's blackberries in there. So, and that's not hurting the terrace bed at all. Anyway, uh, these these beds I have to you know um, take a uh, like a pick and and cut into the side of the hill then drag the dirt forward to the upper edge and then backfill with good dirt compost everything like that and this like I said this bed's full of potatoes still I've only got about a third of it dug anyway thank you very much for watching I uh, side of a hill uh, presents a lot of challenges but I really enjoy making these terrace beds and uh, making something that would just be uh, washing out a productive uh, environment. Thank you very much for watching.